tech-savvy consumers are lining up today to be the first to purchase Sony's brand new stupid piece of shit that doesn't do the goddamn thing it's fucking supposed to. Thanks, Brandon. It's being called the biggest fucking waste of your hard-earned money to come along in years. Sony's new stupid box thing hit the shelves at crowded malls and overpriced electronic stores around the country today. It's got a whole bunch more memory and megapixels and whatnot than any of the other TV shit that I already have. I can't wait to get home and spend my whole fucking night trying to figure the goddamn thing out. If you can somehow claw and bite your way through the impossible to open packaging, this stupid piece of shit offers a wide variety of frustrating as hell functions, including flashing random fucking words and numbers on its display screen, not coming with the fucking little doohickey thing it's supposed to, and being goddamned ass backward as fuck. Sony spokesman Alan Compton said the company designed this sucking fucking goddamn thing to make everyone in the modern home want to tear their fucking eyeballs out. We listened hard to what our customers said they wanted the most out of their own home entertainment system, and then we pumped out this impossible to use fucking piece of shit. Sony says they plan to release an upgraded 800 gigabyte version of this piece of shit by the end of the year, just when you figured out the goddamn remote control for this one. It never ends, this shit. The world is buzzing over Apple's latest must-have gadget, the MacBook Wheel, a revolutionary new laptop that does away with the keyboard. Tech Trends reporter Jeff Tate has more. Thanks, Andrea. Say goodbye to the keyboard and hello to the future of laptop computers. With the MacBook Wheel, Apple has replaced the traditional keyboard with a sleek, touch-sensitive click wheel. Apple CEO Steve Jobs introduced the product yesterday at the annual Mac Expo. Senior product innovator Brian Gilman says the MacBook wheel will make typing a thing of the past. At Apple, our philosophy is create products that are simple to use. And nothing's more simple than a single giant button. Gilman showed me how the revolutionary new computer works. Just uh, open the Intuitype alphabet menu here, scroll to the letter you need, see? And center click to select it. Then click again to capitalize and uh, repeat this process for each new letter. It couldn't be simpler. Huh. You can also let the predictive sentence technology complete the sentence for you. Gilman says the MacBook wheel has also simplified the organization of files, so searching your hard drive will be a snap. Just press both sides of the wheel concurrently and center click in there. You have an alphabetical listing of every file on your hard drive. Everything is just a few hundred clicks away. Apple is calling the MacBook wheel the most intuitive product ever designed. Here at Apple, we like to think that we're giving customers features they don't even realize they want yet. While the MacBook wheel won't hit the shelves for another 3 to 15 months, many Apple users already have it on their wish list. I'll buy almost anything if it's shiny and made by Apple. Alex Zalbin was one of the lucky few to get to try out a Mac wheel and spent 45 minutes typing an email to his friend. I never really realized how much I hated keyboards until I saw this thing. I like how the email automatically says, sent from a MacBook wheel, that way people know you have one. With a price tag of just under $2,600 for the lowest end MacBook wheel, it is an investment. But the super-thin laptop features numerous innovations like the new ultra-thin Hummingbird battery, which can power the MacBook wheel for a full 19 minutes before needing to be recharged. And the computer is virtually unbreakable unless dropped or hit. But Apple isn't resting on its laurels. Brian Gilman said they are already hard at work on the next generation of the MacBook wheel, which will be four ounces lighter due to its lack of screen hard drive or wheel. For the Onion News Network, I'm Jeff Tate.